In news from Jamaica, the Office of the Contractor General, OCG, is warning the government not to grant a license to Symbiote Investments Limited, which is registered to operate as Carousel. Contractor General Dirk Harrison says he has uncovered several damning findings about the company. More from Tanika Thomas. A tough-talking contractor general, Dirk Harrison, has urged Minister of Science, Energy and Technology, Dr. Andrew Wheat, to revoke the license granted to Symbiote Investments Limited, which will operate as Carousel. The Andrew Holness-led cabinet had issued a mobile carrier and a service provider license to Carousel back in May 2016. This was to pave the way for a Jamaican telecoms firm to join the mobile landscape that's dominated by two international players, Digicel and Flow. But in a special report tabled in Parliament on Tuesday, Contractor General Dirk Harrison documented several adverse findings following his investigations into the company. Based on those findings, the OCG is warning the technology minister, Dr. Wheatley, to rethink its decision in doing business with Carousel. Among the findings the OCG is taking issue with is one of the company's shareholders, Mr. George Neal. The OCG's concerns stem from checks done by the Jamaica Constabulary Force JCF in 2014 when Carousel had initially applied for a telecoms license. But attorney representing Carousel, Patrick Bailey, has hit back. In a statement on Wednesday, Mr. Bailey argued that there were several questionable findings by the OCG that could have been easily clarified. For example, Mr. Bailey noted that the OCG could have been furnished with the required documents from the police. He explains that the JCF's letter of May 28, 2015 stated explicitly that Mr. George Neal was not the subject of any investigation. That letter, Mr. Bailey says, was submitted to the Office of Utilities Regulation, OUR, and the Ministry of Science, Energy, and Technology. According to Mr. Bailey, the OCG has merely given his own interpretation of facts that were disclosed by the applicant and which were known to the regulators and the minister when the decisions were taken. The attorney for Carousel insists the OCG report did not raise any new material that should cause Technology Minister Dr. Wheatley or the Cabinet to resolve from their decision to grant the license. But that was not all the OCG report mentioned about Carousel. Mr. Harrison concludes that there were attempts to mislead the government, the Spectrum Management Authority and the OUR to the true identity of the directors, shareholders and beneficial owners of the companies that were listed in the application for a mobile license and submitted to the OUR. In the special report, the OCG penned that shareholder Mr. Neal's name varied in the document. The contractor general says the investigations also found several conflicts of interest. The report noted that members of the board of directors of the Spectrum Management Authority were also employees at the Ministry of Science and Technology. Mr. Harrison has warned Technology Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley to utilize the discretion afforded him under Section 13 of the Telecoms Act and not to ink the license. Tanika Thomas reporting for Scene Caribbean News.